Now, um, for the next questions, uh, table is given, but I actually don't think it's necessary to use it because what's happening in 246 is you're given a graph below, a uh, quadratic, um, and this quadratic is sort of an approximation of the, the table that was given. And you want to estimate the number of bald eagles per year for the 37 years by computing the average value. So you just want to average this quadratic, which actually isn't too bad of a question. So let me copy that over. And for some odd reason, I'm no longer, no longer able to screen grab. Oh, all right, there we go. Okay. There's that one, and then we'll do the same thing here for 247. Okay. And uh, yeah, okay, let's, so that's just average. So uh, you want to, it's the formula is to integrate uh, from zero, one over 37, zero to 37, the function PT DT. So that would be one over 37 and let's integrate. So that's 6.48 T cubed over three minus zero point, uh, minus 80.31, I guess. There's a space there, it looks a bit weird. Uh, over two T plus 585.69 T zero uh, to 30. Seven. So if we just sub in 37, because the zero actually doesn't matter, because it's all going to be zero. Let's see what we get. Um, <laughs> zero to 37. Yep. Okay. Um, six. Right, so it should be like what? It looks like about 4,000 average. Um, oh, no, less than I thought. Okay, 2056.995. Um, is it just a slightly different formula? It's kind of looking like it, so it's going to be the same thing, huh? 1 over 37 integrate so we'll just go straight into the answer for the integration 0 0.0 oh it's a cubic i see so that's power 4 over 4 plus 2.42 t cubed over 3 minus 25.63 t squared over 2 plus 521.23 t Zero, uh, 0 to 37 so typing that one in on the calculator Let's see what we get Okay, um, that one comes in, oh, much less, uh, 1183.345, I wonder if I've made a mistake, let's see, this, I can check for 247. Two forty seven is 2000, I'm, yeah, okay, I've, I've, yeah, that, that seems suspiciously small, I must have mistyped something, and I did mistype, I got a power wrong here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just, I wrote this power in wrong here. I got this guy wrong on the calculator. So now when I type it in, uh, that is 2037.829167. Yeah, let's check that now. 
237. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess since it's equal, you kind of want to give a whole number. 2057 and 2038. Hmm, interesting. I wonder, should it not be rounded up? Rather than down, I would have thought. Be more accurate. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can do one more before I get too tired. Ugh. Okay, so you've got your speed and your time, and it's roughly a quadratic. And um, there's the time and acceleration. The accompanying graph plot shows the best quadratic fit to the data for the proceeding. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, no, I skipped one. Okay. Let's have a look. Right. Suppose you go on a road trip and record your speed at, at every half hour and combine the bottom of the table and you get a quadratic to fit the data. And it's a quadratic for the speed. Maybe I should think of that as a V. Shown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the total distance is the integration from 0 to 3 of 5x squared minus 11x plus 49 dx. So that would be... 5x cubed over 3 minus 11x squared over 2 plus 49x 0 to 3. So I just got to put in the 3. So 0 to 3. Yes, yeah, so I just need to put in the 3 because the rest would be 0, basically. Okay. That is an average of 142.5 miles. So we're talking miles per hour here. Okay, and then 249. The accompanying graph plot shows the best quadratic fit for the acceleration to the data. Compute the average value of the acceleration to to estimate the average of said okay very similar to what we've just been doing so from zero to five so that would be one over five zero to five the formula minus 0 0.70 t squared plus 1.44 t plus 10.44 dt that's one over five minus 0 0.70 t cubed over three plus 1.44 t squared over 2, plus 10.44 t, 0 to 5. So again, just the zero that, uh, the 5 that just needs to be subbed in. So let's see what we get when we do that. I'll type it in on the calculator. Um, Uh, that is 8.206 recurring uh, meters per second squared. Let us see if that matches up. the answer hmm. 
What's gone wrong here? Why don't I have the... Why don't I find the answer? That is for... Ah, there we go. Oh, it's not meters per second squared because I'm forgetting we're in America. Um, yeah, so it's, well, yeah, what was the units? 8.2 anyways. So I, just wanna, I know they give the units here, uh, miles per hour per second. So there is, okay. Um, where's the tape? Oh, yeah, it's given in the table. Fine. Miles per hour per second, then. Yeah, okay. Okay. Which, that, which one was that? That was that one. Okay, two, 250. Uh, they just want us to calculate the velocity. So the velocity is the integration. Which we've actually, we've already integrated. So let me just clean it up a bit. Um, 0 0.70 divided by 3. So if I want to leave it as a fraction, that's minus 7 over 30 t cubed plus 0 0.77, isn't it? Seven two. What am I saying? T squared plus ten point four four t. Now we'll have to put in a constant of integration, though. Do we know this initial velocity, though? Um. Assuming the final velocity is zero after five units of time. So I have to choose a constant that will make it zero. Okay. So let's see if we can do that. Plus 10.44t. So let me see. 10.44. 10.44 times 5 plus 0 0.72 times 25 minus 7 over 30 times 125. So that is 41.03. So I'm going to need minus 41.03 recurring. And this is to make sure that you get a value of phi 5 equals 0. Um. So, assuming the final velocity is zero, find the velocity of time t is zero. So, therefore, the velocity of time zero, it's kind of weird that it's a negative. The car is going backwards. That seems kind of wrong. That seems kind of wrong to me. Um, oh, but maybe it's with the units, actually. Um... What is the time, though? Time is five seconds. Uh, I see. I think this is what the problem is because the units are being mixed up in hours and seconds. I'm not, I'm not too happy about. Yeah, yeah, you'll need to convert time units. Yep. Yeah. Yes, so the time units are the problem here. That is in miles per hour. And this time here is in seconds. So if I put in five, and I got 
No, that doesn't seem right at all. Let me double check my calculation. Yeah, that, oh, okay. I got a different number now, so I must have done something wrong here. Okay. So V, uh, uh, here we need V5, which will be this plus C here. Five cubed plus 0 0.72 times five squared plus 10 point Four four times five. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's okay. So that is five point oh three recurring plus c. That should equal zero. Uh, so that means the c is minus five point oh three miles per hour. Doesn't seem right at all, does it? Using your acceleration equation from the previous exercise, find the corresponding velocity equation, assuming the final velocity is zero. So there's a bit of a problem with the units here, I think. The acceleration is in miles per hour per second. And acceleration is the rate of change of velocity uh, with respect to time. So this really looks like it should be miles per hour. So why don't we get a negative answer? Using your acceleration equation from the previous exercise, Find the corresponding velocity equation. Assume the final velocity is zero miles per hour. Find the velocity at time zero. Negative, negative. Okay, maybe I should just calculate 251 and see what happens. Okay, so for 251 then, so let me just clear off this one here. I can't check this answer. Oh, now I just realized something here. Should I be careful about the best quadratic fit to the data is that. Uh, does that go negative? I should actually, I should have checked that. I'm going to check it now. Should have done that earlier. Um, 5x squared minus 11x plus 49. No, okay, so that's all positive, so that's fine. Um, right, so I can fill it off here. Um, let's have a look here. Using your velocity equation of the previous exercise, find the corresponding distance equation. Assuming your initial dis displacement, that should really, well, okay, distance is zero. Yeah, okay, so uh, the distance would be the integration of this, so that would be minus 74 over 120 plus 0 0.72 t cubed over 3 plus 10.44 t squared over 2 minus 5.03 uh, t. You'll need to convert time units. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because right now, this one is in miles per hour. So the time units is hours. So the T here would be five seconds only. 
5 over 3600 and we should put that in okay minus 7 over 120 uh, power 4 There's no C here because of what they said. Mm, negative. That's not what you want to see. Cubed. Answer squared. Times answer. It's a distance. That is not right. Is not right at all. Only like about about seven meters. Let's see right at all. Let's check the answer two fifty one. So I have a feeling I'll have to redo this one. Um. The 249 I know is right, but the 250 and the 251, I'm just, I'm not sure about. A hundred and nineteen feet. Oh, of course, I forgot. It has to be, that's why it's negative. Because the velocity could be the velocity is negative here, so actually maybe that is genuine, um, because then we have to calculate the absolute. So the problem is mm -mm 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 -mm. the v could be negative up until uh, what point does it become? positive um let me check let me check No, it actually stays positive, I think. Oh, I'm going to type that in wrong. eight seconds okay so it's negative while the t is less than 0 0.469 seconds so that means this distance formula is only true yeah okay so the problem is here um this is only true when the T, yeah, okay. So that's not quite right. If you look at velocity time, you know, it's it's some something like this. And uh, that's at 0 0.469. So the distance traveled would be that area up until this number. And then this one here. So that's not quite right. So the integration, it would be the integration from 0 to 0 
this V formula, minus 7 over 30 T cubed, etc. And then 0 0.469 to 5, the same formula, minus 7 over 30 T cubed, etc. Although this one's upside down, so it gets a minus in the front. And then we can sub that into this formula. So it'd be minus D uh, 0 0.469 minus d for displacement maybe uh zero plus and then it would be d5 minus d 0 0.469 all right now let's see what we get okay this is quite the tricky question and the time oh no the time is not even uh, the time is five seconds, but this formula is in hours, so I have to divide this by 3,600. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Even if I've given up on this one. Just bear with me as I type this long thing into the calculator. <laughs> Amazingly, I think I have something very similar. Zero point zero 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 six nine eight meters but uh, not meters uh, miles um uh, I, I don't i don't know how many feet are in a mile five two eight oh Ah, no, that's only t about 37 feet. Uh, now you see, they only go to zero one. Why did they only go to zero one? I thought the time was supposed to be five. Okay. And there's a sign difference here. I have a minus here. I have a minus here because of a minus here. But they have a plus in the answer. And that 41 looks familiar. Where have I seen that now? Was that the wrong answer I got for C originally? That'd be funny. No, they don't even have a C. No, they do. That is the C from here. One, two, three, four. They should have four terms. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Mm. This formula looks... Quite a bit different. Seven over thirty. Minus zero point seven two. And I have a plus. Okay. Okay, the absolute is changing it. It must be negative. So, okay. So I, I got my C wrong. Uh, my C is wrong? Weird. Let's double check that. Ah, funny that. My C is wrong. 
Okay, so that is 41.03 recurring. So that's the negative then, 41.03 recurring. Unfortunately, that's going to change that point at where it's positive or negative. So let's recalculate that. Hmm. There's no sign change. There's no sign change. So that means the car is going backwards the whole time. So then all I need to do to calculate the answer is just do a sign flip. So, so this one here, this is negative. If you were to look at the velocity graph. So it just means sign flip to make it positive, get the distance. Um, and it's from zero to five, uh, zero to, so, okay. So just sub in and change the sign five over 3,600 and just correct this here. Uh, T. Right. And let's see what I get. Hopefully it's right now. Power four. Um, cube now. And then the square. And then okay. Oh, that's a tiny number. Times so that will equal zero point zero five six nine miles, which equals many miles did we say? 5280. Oh. Mm, 300 feet roughly or 301. So I'm close but why is it only going to one though? This is what I can't understand. Because it's just five. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, right here still. Um, they calculated the, they did it slightly differently though. They got the, what did they calculate? Zero to one. Oh, did they average it for one hour and then multiply it by the number of seconds? Is that what they did? That seems a very bizarre way of doing it to me. But that's what it looks like they're doing. So they get 81.12 miles per hour times, the, let me just check something here, 80, okay, 5280, okay, 81.12 times 5280, so that's how many feet in an hour, divided by 3600 times 5. So it's the time. What did they use it for the time then? That's just one second though. Not five seconds. 
So I feel like um, they, they should have multiplied by five instead of one. I wonder if that's their mistake. Because the car, this is the acceleration. The car is accelerating for the five seconds. So I feel like, I feel like, I feel like they forgot. They multiplied this by one over 3,600. Um, that's what it really looks like here. Because the answer of 119 feet would be 81.12 miles per hour for one second. Should be for five seconds. So I actually think it's their mistake. I think I think I'm right because I think the 109 feet that's for one second. But that doesn't quite match up with my answer. However, their answer is kind of doing it a really weird way. They're getting the average what is this this is this is the distance for one hour so i guess this comes out as 81.12 so that would be the speed in miles per hour but they put a five in here really can't see what they're doing at all i'm really really confused by this one I think it's time to give up. D. So D five would be roughly eighty one, which is that integration for one hour. Multiply. Okay, so I think they should multiply this by five. But I feel like my answer is more accurate because I'm just doing the integration of the velocity for five seconds uh, yeah okay i'm gonna open a ticket i think this answer should be five times bigger but they did just say second not five seconds so is this already Eighty one point twelve miles per hour times a second. Velocity times time. I possibly their mistake. I'm gonna finish this question here. Two fifty one, but not great, not great. So this I yeah, a bit of a question mark here for me on 251. Um, I do think my 250 answer is right, except for a possible sign error. It does match up with the, the formula here that's used in the next part. So, okay. 